Before the service, Deputy Cox's casket made its way through White Center, the community where he grew up and eventually patrolled. His passion was to make it a safe and decent place to live. And along the way, he made an amazing number of friends. Many of them line the streets of White Center today to bid him farewell. With his brothers and sisters in uniform leading the way, the hearse carrying Deputy Steve Cox moved slowly past the flower-choked storefront sheriff's office where he worked. It is here the community flocked to see their deputy drive through his community one last time. Well, they gave him what he deserved, the respect, you know, that he's already earned on the streets of White Center. Deputy Cox was known as a champion for safety in this community. His quote sums up the way he lived. One person can make a difference. Step up and take some action. Go after what you want. And one person can make a difference. And I don't want us to stop doing that. I don't want us to stop knowing that we have the power to make things change. Deputy Cox made a life-changing difference to Bonnie Gay Horton and her family. He saved my daughter's life. He chased her from these streets, and he would tell her that she was too pretty, too intelligent, and had too much going for her, and he would tell her to go home and get off of the streets. Community members say they'll now have to step up to fulfill the deputy's mission. In the end, they hope kindness will conquer the brutality that took the life of Deputy Cox. It has to stop. Stop it. Stop being cruel. Stop being mean. And if you break the law, take responsibility for it. The memorial in White Center will be dismantled. The flowers going to area nursing homes. The mementos will go home with Deputy Cox's family.